And what is up everyone, it's your boy Fry and today we're going to be looking at um, a little vocal compression trick that I have picked up on the internet. Let me get comfortable over here. I am muted because today we'll be using Pro Tools, so let's hop on over there. As you can see, I've got a mix. Oh my gosh, and I just realized that I have not um, using one screen. So um, yeah, let's pretty much just uh, loop the chorus, right? This is a track that me and uh, Ben Pepworth have been collaborating on. It is pretty much done. But yeah, I'm just going to break down how to use the, hopefully this is recording right now. I'm basically going to be showing you, don't worry too much about everything else. It's, uh, you know, this is just my preference of mixing. But what we're going to be focusing on today is the um, 2LA, right? Which is a uh, amplification plugin uh, or like a amplifying compressor, whatever. And we're going to be using the RVox right now. Alternatively, in uh, FL Studio, I apologize for not setting this all up beforehand. But um, I will make a list which you can go and follow. Um, on screen and in the, the description. Um, basically, you know, if you don't have these two plugins by Waves and they're not too expensive, I would definitely invest in these if you care about what your recording sound like. Firstly, let's just try and uh, A, B and you can hear the difference. So I will do it with it on and off. So here you go. Yeah. We at the party and we so fly. I'm on a trip, I'm feeling so high. This little shawty, yeah, she call my eye. She smiled back and so I said hi I hope my memories don't fade away, fade away I hope tomorrow that you feel the same, feel the same When I'm with you, you make my time fly Make it look easy like you don't try All right, so there you go. Um, I hope that gave you the idea. Let me just make sure I am recording just to, you know, I am quite a paranoid person when it comes to this. I am recording. All right, so um, hopefully the quality is okay too. But yeah. Pretty much also I'll be adding on the G channel, right? Which, um, you know, I picked this up from, I think the recording revolution, a whole lot of engineers, rock engineers kind of do this trick, but it's really worked for me with um, rap music. So the first thing which I normally do is um, because Ben, you know, doesn't have access to a professional studio or whatever, uh, he's recording in his bedroom. And what tends to happen with any recording, right? Unless you have been singing opera or whatever, um, generally, you know, we're not able to maintain a constant, um, dynamic range meaning we're not able to sing at let's just say minus 10 decibels the whole way through you know what i mean that being the loudest part so what happens is you have loud parts right as you can see over here we got a pretty loud section and then a pretty soft section right and then so this the song goes on all of these um light blue ones are the main vocals so just concentrate on that and as you can see you know it, it's up and down it's up and down so the first thing which i like to do is i like to apply a um leveling amplifier that's the correct term um to the vocal before doing anything just because you know that represents or that is kind of a method of the old school where they would track a vocal with a high quality um 2la uh, compressor teletronics hopefully um you know warm audio make a remake if you'd like to actually purchase a piece of hardware like that but um you know for us with the software we can do that um as i said link in the description will be you can go and check out the leveling amplifier video which i did about half a year ago but you could use the modern series plugins. You could use the FL compressor. Um, actually, just for the sake of it, I will give you the free preset for the FL compressor, which kind of emulates the setting. You can just twist the, um, I think it's the type or knee knob until it, it turns into vintage. Then it's kind of got a variable uh, release. So you can see here, you know, it. this compressor is really interesting the way it, it just handles stuff. So that's the first thing I do. Um, to get just the vocal to sound, you know, because that way I don't use, I'm not a fan of using vocal right if anyone knows what what that is. It's basically a plugin which automates by itself, um, you know, when things get too loud, it pulls it down. It's basically like somebody having a fader on their hand and, and doing vocal rides, which is what it's called. But yeah, that out the way. So we do EQ, whatever, that's not important for this video. And this I picked up from um, Meek Mill's engineer. I hope I'm not speaking too loud because I don't, I can't hear myself back, so. <laughs> It's a bit insane. Uh, there we go. Um, and by the way, anyone who wants to know how to do that, that is um, Alt and Tab. Alt Tab, Alt Tab will get you from A to B. So yeah, basically what we do with the um, R compressor is pretty much just compress the heck out of it, right? Um, generally, Meek Mill's guy, would he said he did like 10 to 11. That's kind of how I always hear Meek Mill's vocals and they're really like upfront and punchy and they almost have a, a weird distortion to them. And that's what... You know, I kind of grew up listening to, and I think it's this plugin which does that. So I will A B it, and you can hear for yourself. Uh, let me just get this back again. We at the party. Just get a pre-roll. Yeah. 
We at the party and we so fly I'm on a trip, I'm feeling so high oh. This little shawty, yeah, she caught my eye She smiled back and so I said hi So yeah, I mean, that's crazy, right? Um, You know, it's, it's really hard to say to to you to find a, a replication of this plugin because this is a kind of magic plugin in its own right um, I have read the manual which for those who own any waves plugins you can go and read the manual and you will find out that um, this plugin has a whole bunch of uh, different types of stuff but I would definitely recommend using the uh, fruity limiter and just uh, making it a soft knee meaning you take the knee knob and then go all the way to the left I should have had all these plugins open I apologize but you can go and experiment and basically just you know slam the limiter and turn down the output and really what this is doing is this is um you know just bringing everything in the vocal out so this is a really nice trick to you know you don't have to use six seven plugins in order to get um a, a nice clean shiny result you know this is my favorite plugin for doing that and i've used this on every mix since getting it so um it is great i'll just a b it one more time i'll a b both so far yeah we at the party and we so fly i'm on a trip i'm feeling so high you know what I mean? It just has a bit of like weird tingly sensation to it. Okay, cool. So the last thing which we'll be doing is the um, SSL trick. I guess this is a rock trick. Um, you know, I did get this little SSL bundle and the trick is to turn the ratio up to two. Um, I just leave the release where it is and basically just crank the threshold up until I get this light right here to just kind of light up on the loud part. So let's listen and we can see. Yeah. And I am doing a bit of EQ, so you know when I AB it, you will hear that there's a bit of a top end enhancement, tiny bit of boost on um, 4.5k, and a bit of reduction on the uh, boxiness. But you know that's a different video. So yeah. yeah. We at the party and we so fly. Oh. I'm on a trip, I'm feeling so high. This little shawty, yeah, she caught my eye. She smiled back and so I said hi. I hope my memories don't fade away, fade away. I hope tomorrow that you feel the same. Fe okay, well, interesting. So um, I'm not actually doing three decibels of gain reduction, but um, I guess when I was mixing it, it did uh, add a bit of magic punch, I guess. You know, this has been a trick, I guess, that SSL console users have been using, and it, it seems to add a bit of grit. But mostly I use this channel just for the EQ. But, um, you know, if you did want to, I, I think I've done enough compression with the Rvox. This is really, you know, um, just a method that you can go and, and transform to your own liking. And yeah, that's pretty much the uh, vocal compression trick which I've been using on, uh, you know, all my rap vocals, mixing and all that. Um, I am enjoying Pro Tools, as you can see, this project is crazy. Um, if you'd like to hear the final print, here you go. I will just turn down the... Actually, I'm not rooted to FL Studio, so I can't pay the final print, but that was kind of close to the final print. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. It is your boy Farai. Uh, what are we sitting on right now? Time-wise. Um, I don't even know. But anyway, yeah, it is your boy Fry signing out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I will link uh, the free compressor plugin, which I did um, promise in the description. And yeah, drop a like and all that good stuff. It is your boy Fry signing out. Peace.